Deacon, short ball, Hock, it finds its way to Sam Tompkins, he backs himself Tompkins, soccer skills Tompkins. It was billed as the big one at the weekend and turned out to be a big score for Wigan unfortunately. Yeah, it was a little bit bigger than the, for Wigan than us, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, we got some good lessons and some key parts of the game, some parts of the game which we've been pro progressively sort of going backwards in, especially in defence, and, you know, Wigan uh, give us a, a nice spanking, if you like to put it like that. They played well for pretty much most of the contest, and, you know, to be honest, you know, after five or six minutes, you know, we've, in particular, you know, when, I mean, the score was six all, but after that, it wasn't really a contest, which was disappointing, but... Uh, we've got to uh, look at where we were, where we've fallen down and where we've got worse at, progressively gone downhill and you now we need to progressively sort of start step that back up again and you know, the good thing is the areas where we weren't so good, we know we can, we know we can do well there and with a bit of hard work and obviously there's nothing like a bit of a, uh, a, a tough game, tough scoreboard to, uh, to make actually 100% realise that we do need to improve a little. Yeah, there's quite a few things that we needed to work on, especially in defence. We were just getting marched back all game and uh, we couldn't handle them. And I think there's a few little technique areas where we need to work on and uh, get ourselves right. And there's other aspects as well. But um, it's basically um, more defensively and a bit of mentality as well because we know what we need to do. It's just about doing it on the day. When you looked at the table before the weekend, we were equal first, you know. And sometimes, sometimes the table can be... Not a false guide because obviously we, you know, when you're up near the top, you're obviously doing plenty of things well. But you know, from a team point of view, we weren't progressing. You know, we were winning games and we we're doing some good stuff, and but we weren't doing enough good stuff for long enough, in particular in defence. And you know, Wigan punished us, and that's there's no other way to look at it. But as I said, the good thing is we know we can do a lot better. We've done a lot better for for a lot lot, lot of periods this year and a lot of periods the last two years. So we just need to work a little harder and whether it be different personnel or not, you know, the, the people that played the other day, they know they can do it, and the people that are coming in know they can do it as well, if there is people to come in. Is, is the aim for the season to finish in that top place? Yeah, why not? And You've got to look at that as a, a possible achievement for you. Obviously, there's teams around us at the moment that are playing better and um, are higher than us, but we are in a good position at the moment, and as long as we improve, then we should stand a chance and just keep plodding along, doing the right things and improving our game, then again we stand a chance. I understand there's a bit of injury trouble. Is it Sean Lunt and David Fayumo? What's the story with them too? Uh, Lunny's been carrying groin trouble for a fair period now, and we've managed him you know, the best we can and he's managed himself the best he could uh, uh, so you know, it's got to the stage where he's got to go and see the surgeon or see the specialist first and you know, hopefully it's only a short term it's not too long term hopefully we can manage him by but a little bit unknown but he's definitely going to be out in the short term and phil has been carrying some ribs and got a he got another knock the other day which has sort of ended his run of games he's had a pretty good run for 18 months phil so he's going to need a, a short time out hopefully hopefully not too long but uh, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's the way it goes, and everyone gets uh, some bumps here and there. But we'll be confident with whatever we put out there, the combinations can do well. Crusaders are a decent team, they've got some great players, and sometimes you know they've been struggling with injuries. But you know, a, a wounded animal can be quite aggressive and they, they can be hard work as well. So I, I expect the same from the Crusaders. The, you know, it, they're, they're a decent side and we've already lost to them so far this season and that's probably because we didn't do the right things and we need to be right on the damn bang on the money. Any team's tough these days when they've got most of their players fit and, and playing reasonably well and you know, they've had a good month of footy, the Crusaders. You know, it's, if you, again, if you look at the table, you'd think, well, they're last. You look where we are, you'd say, oh, well, it's going to be a, an easy game. But you know, the reality is the table's not always what it seems and Crusaders, if they didn't lose four points, and they'd picked up their last two games, they'd be sitting in a semi-final position, everyone would be saying how good a team they are, because the reality is they are a decent team, and uh, as you just rightly mentioned, they give us a touch-up earlier in the year, and there's only two teams that give us a touch-up this year, Wigan the other day and Crusaders. The, the grass is uh, growing green again at the Gal Farm. Do you think it'll make a, a difference when, in a month's time or so, you're back back here? Well, we've had two two games at the Shame. We've had you know two reasonable wins against very good teams, so... In the big, big picture of things, you know, the Shea's been good for us and we go there this week and we can put in a really good performance. Hadn't been a bad move for us. I think everyone's enjoyed playing there, we've enjoyed going there, but obviously the Gow Farm's our, you know, our number one home ground. But you know, the Shea's been a, a good stopover and hopefully we can uh, put in another good performance this week and, and get a win there. And you know, it'll be three from three at the Shea, which would, which would be a nice, nice way to leave.